Hello and welcome to another Performance Architects How-To. Performance Architects is a business and technology consulting company that helps companies initiate and sustain big changes in their performance management and business intelligence environments and process. This video along with others on our channel should help provide some additional insight as you embark on or continue along your EPM and BI journey. Head over to our channel after this video or come back in the future to learn best practices, hear overviews, and take part in lessons we have designed to help you. We are focused on continuing to develop this community and we welcome any recommendations you might have for future content. Thanks and enjoy. Hello and welcome to Performance Architects How To. My name is Jonathan and in this How To I will discuss how to write uh, a calc script. This will just be a very introductory lesson and we hope to follow on uh, down the road with some more advanced additions to this session. So the first thing that I recommend you do anytime you're writing a calc script is really to model what you're trying to do in Excel. So in this exercise uh, we're, we are going to write a calc script to create our forecast and the way we want to do that in this example is we want to take the first six months of actuals which are January through June and copy them down into January through June of our forecast. After we do that we'd like to copy the final six months of the year from the budget into the forecast so July through December. The expected results we'll see we can just model it in Excel with Excel formulas so we expect to see for January through June our actuals to come down into our forecast and for July through December we expect the budget to come down into the forecast so if we simply add up those months we would expect for our full year January through December to total sixty four thousand six hundred and one dollars in this example we're only doing that for a very small subset of the database here, our New York region stereo uh, product and our marketing expense. So in order to, to uh, validate that our calc script worked, what I'll just do here is copy down our actual and budget and forecast and just paste the values here and we'll use that again later. So now we have a blank forecast and we're going to go into uh, the SBASE Administration Services console and write a script to populate row 8 here using the logic that we modeled in Excel. So the way we do that and I'm using ba demo basic here is we right click on the database and say create calculation script new window will pop up so you'll see here on the left in this window the five dimensions that make up the demo basic outline so if if you know the name of the members you want to use you can simply come into the editor and type them uh, if you don't you can ex expand here and choose them this way now the the command to to focus a calc script on a subset of the database is something called a fix statement. So if you simply type in fix and open parentheses and put the subset of the database that you'd like to focus your calculation on. So as we saw in Excel we want to do um, we want to copy for January through June our actuals into our forecast and for July through December our budget into our forecast. So one thing I, I definitely recommend when you're writing a calc script is to go in the order of the outline within any of your fixed statements. So for example, we said for January through June we want to do something. So let's go in here and say January and I did that just by double clicking. Colon will, is, is the range operator so we will say January through January through June and we'll just tab over to line everything up. So our next dimension is the market dimension and we said we want to do this only for New York. As I said earlier you can double click on New York. You could also right click and say insert member name. I recommend keeping each dimension 
on its own line. This way it's really easy to track that you've uh, accounted for every one of your dimensions. So if we go to our third line, we wanted to write this calc script for stereo. And we said we wanted to do this for our marketing expense. So we've accounted for four of our five dimensions right now, everything except scenario, and that's really the one we want to take the action on. So within our fixed statement, there's a command called data copy. And what did we say we wanted to copy for January through June? We wanted to copy actuals to forecast. It's as simple as that. So for January through June, we are now finished, so we will end our fixed statement and we can validate here with this green checkbox that our syntax is correct and you can see that it is and then we can save and I'm gonna call this script copy to forecast now we have not done anything with July through December yet but that's okay let's run this script and see if this part worked so you can execute that by clicking on the execute icon you can execute it in the background if you want. This is a very fast script, so we don't need to do that. It'll run very quickly. Now what we can do here is highlight the area that we want to retrieve. And we can see for our first six months, if we just put some Excel formulas in here, we have no variances. Our, our calculated results in row 8 are exactly what we modeled in row 13. So what about the rest of the year, July through December? Let's finish that now. So if we go back to our calc script, we can actually just copy this section down and change this to, again, calc scripts are not case sensitive. So for July through December, uh, the same market, same product, same account, instead of copying actuals into forecast, we want to copy budget. And again, you can type it in to, this, to the editor if you know how to spell it, or you can choose it from, from here. So once again, I'm going to uh, check the syntax, see that it's OK, save, execute this script, and we'll hop back into Excel highlight our range and the reason I, I'm highlighting the range is uh, so that it does not affect anything down here we don't want to lose these numbers here so if we retrieve those and put our Excel formulas in to see if we validate we do and let's also check that our full year works and everything ties out so we've just written a calc script to create our forecast now this is a very simplistic way uh, to, to show how to do that there are some more advanced functions that we will use in further lessons to, to, to really show ways to optimize this calc script so this is how you create a uh, simple calc script thank you for joining and please visit our performance architects how-to channel for other videos on enterprise performance management and business intelligence solutions